boys and girls, my name is Miss Jennifer and I'm a teaching artist in the Pace Arts Program. We integrate the arts with the classroom curriculum. We're coming to you today from thanks to the Acadian Center for the Arts and the Lafayette Parish School System in Lafayette, Louisiana. And today we are going to be learning about sunglasses and beaches have in common. We are actually going to be making a self portrait with the wacky fun glasses. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, boys and girls. So today we're going to be connecting sunglasses and the beach together to make this little fun lesson. If you have a pair of sunglasses, go ahead and grab them. Let's put our sunglasses on. Let's do our art today with our sunglasses. And so you can go ahead and grab them now and I will set up for the next part of what we're going to be doing. Okay, boys and girls, I hope that you actually grabbed your sunglasses and here's Miss Jennifer with her sunglasses because we're gonna use sunglasses today while working on our art. So keep your glasses on and let's go ahead and get started. So here you can see that Miss Jennifer made a picture of herself with these pretty wacky glasses. And I also made a picture of someone else, which is a boy, because we have boys and girls doing this lesson today. And so boys, here we go. You can do this lesson with this too. So if we make a picture of ourselves, is that a portrait or a self-portrait, my friends? Well, if you said it is a self-portrait, you are correct. Anytime that you draw a picture of yourself, that is a self-portrait. Now, I drew a picture of somebody else, so would that be a portrait or a self-portrait? If you said portrait, you got it. You're correct, because I drew a picture of someone else. And today, you can make a self-portrait. If you wanna make a picture of someone else, maybe to give it away. Hey, maybe this would be a good time to make a little gift for a friend. So, you decide on which one you want to do. I will talk to you about it as self-portraits, but it's your choice, a self-portrait, or you can even think about maybe making a portrait of someone else. And so here is my self-portrait. And as you know, Miss Jennifer has this long, kind of reddish color hair, so I made my long hair. And in my glasses, you can see that I did something. What did I do, boys and girls? Yep, you guessed it. I used my sunglasses and I thought of, hey, what do I see when I look out of my sunglasses when I'm looking at the beach? And so on my sunglasses, I drew what I saw, kind of like the reflection on my glasses. And I did the same thing on this one also. So we're going to be doing that today. And so, first of all, we're going to be needing our white sheet of paper. So let's get that. We're going to be using our black marker to do some drawing and Let's begin. All right, so first of all, what we're going to be doing is we actually want to make the sunglasses first today on our picture. Hey, and don't forget, we're using our sunglasses, guys. Let's make sure we have those on right now. All right, so you wanna to go to about right here on the top of your paper, and right in the middle, you wanna draw two lines kind of close together. That's gonna be the bridge of the glasses that you see right here, the part that goes over your nose. And then when you draw your glasses, it does not matter what kind of lines you use at all. And here are a couple of examples of sunglasses or glasses that you could possibly draw today. Notice how they're all different. And even on this one, I made little points on it on this one that I did, I sort of made curves around the outside and kind of used wavy lines. Let's just be super creative today. Whatever you feel like you want to do, just do it. All right, so here I go. So I'm going to make this side. And the idea here is that whatever you make on one side, you want to try to do the same thing on the other side. But it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and so here I go. And... Let me see, making the second part. Again, it's not perfect, but 
but that doesn't matter. That kind of makes it really fun looking. Then you're going to go in and you're going to draw the part that holds the lens of your sunglasses. And look at this. I even on purpose they made this one different just because they're wacky glasses. Why not? Let's just have fun with it. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to make the top of our head. So if you look here, we're making the top of our head. Then we need to decide where we're going to put the chin part of our picture. And so Miss Jennifer is going to make her chin come down to about right here. So you might want to draw a little line there. All right. And then kind of make it like a curve at the bottom like this. And then we're just going to kind of connect the other parts back to our face. There you go. You might want to add a neck. And you might want to get fancy and you might want to put like a little bit of lace or collar or something on the shirt. On my boy here that I made, I made him a button up shirt. And so you can also do that. All right. And now decide on what kind of hair do you want to make? Do you want to have short hair, long curly hair? It's really up to you. You decide. All right. So I'm going to add my hair. And this time, you know what? I am going to use my imagination and I want to have long straight hair just like this. And of course, I'm going to put myself some bangs across the front of my hair. Or should I say at the front of my head? And I'm going to draw a little bit more hair. And there we go. I have straight hair. And then I'm going to make my lips. So this one, I'm going to use one curve on one side, one curve on the other, and then a long curve down the bottom. You could put a line through the middle if you want to make it look like two lips. And for your nose, you could be super creative in that you can make a nose look like this, even this picture that Miss Jennifer has here. It's just kind of like a line that they used. So it really doesn't matter. Um, I think I'm gonna borrow that idea and I'm just gonna kind of put the line for this one. And so here was another picture Miss Jennifer had. And you can see here on the glasses that this self-portrait or portrait has sun and sandcastle, I mean, um, sandcastle on the beach, some clouds, some ice cream, looks like some, maybe some um, coffee or tea. So you can be creative and look at this one. This one even has lines on the sunglasses that make them kind of fun with a little pattern on them. And so you can do that also if you want. You could simply just make different lines all the way around, just like this. And you could make it striped glasses. I decided on this one, I kind of wanted some polka dotted glasses, whatever you want. Just draw what you want on them. Again, you do not have to make them exactly the same on both sides because we are just having fun with this little lesson today. And there we go. All right. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to put the beach scene inside of my glasses. And so we're going to go back and we're going to look at the beach here. And we know that the beach has nice wet down here, boys and girls, that we walk on sand yes think about when you walk in the sand how it feels between your toes and then we have water for the beach and of course the sky some beaches have palm trees some of them have little huts some have them little have lawn chairs it's really up to you on what you want yours to be so this is what i want you to do i want you to sit back and i want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about what kind of beach do you want to be on? Do you want a really sandy beach? Or do you want a beach that has lots of waves in the water? Do you want to be sitting in a chair, a lawn chair maybe? How about laying on a towel on the beach? Don't forget, keep your eyes closed. Now let's feel that warm sun on our face and on our skin. And that wave, you can hear it in the background as it comes towards you on the beach. Now, I want you to think about what is something that you might want to eat or drink on the beach? 
while you're laying there. All right, now let's open our eyes. You should now have an idea of what that beach little walk that we went through in our mind kind of pulled together for us for our little picture. And while I had my eyes closed, I was thinking, of course, of the water on this one. I think I want just like sand. And the, little, the sand can have like little dots because it has like little bitty grains, but sometimes it has like little seashells. So we could actually put seashells also. So this is a little seashell that I made. Sometimes they also have seaweed that's floating around in the water. Hey, and how about right here? Could I make a little fish? Of course, because there are fish in the ocean. <clears throat> All right, and I could also might want to make a sun. And how about maybe even, I could maybe make some little wavy lines that kind of look like maybe some birds in the sky. And on this side, I think that maybe I want to go swimming. So here's my little head, my body, my little arms, and I am swimming in the water and I'm gonna put myself some waves with the wavy line. And I want to, this time, I wanna make a different kind of sun. I wanna make the sun so that it has sun rays all the way around it. I also think that maybe right here, I want to do two curved lines, curved line, zigzag line, curved line, zigzag line, and I want to make a palm tree. So let me show you what a palm tree looks like when you draw it. So that's two curved lines, a curved line, zigzag line, curved line, zigzag line, curved line, zigzag line curve line, zigzag line, and one more. And that is our palm tree. Here, here we go. All right, and I think that I might add one bird right here in the sky. And so now I'm pretty much finished drawing my picture. Although I think that I wanna go back right here at the bottom of my little shirt. And I might wanna put a button on the bottom just like this to finish off my shirt. You might want to also, you could put a necklace on your neck if you want, maybe with a little picture inside of it, just like this. All right, boys and girls, so now that I'm finished drawing my self-portrait, um, we it's time for us to get our supplies. So here are my crayons, here are my markers, don't forget we can actually add some highlighters in there because highlighters are a little lighter in color and work really, really well. And so there you go. I have all of my supplies and I am ready to start coloring. Boys and girls, are you guys still doing what we're supposed to be doing? Hmm, what is that, Miss Jennifer? Do we still have our sunglasses on? I sure hope you do. All right, so let's start coloring. Now for this lesson, we're gonna be using markers and crayons. So we're gonna kind of mix them together. I'm going to start off first by making the um, frames of my glasses. And I'm simply going to, here I'm using a highlighter and I'm just gonna kind of randomly put these. I'm not gonna make a pattern today, but if you wanna make a pattern, you're more than welcome to do so. And there you go. So I have one side. And again, remember, color them any way that you want them. If you decided to color them just all one color, then this is the time to color that part of your sunglasses. All right. I might want to make one more right here. And then I'm going to get my orange highlighter. And I'm going to add some orange. And then here and there on my sunglasses. I'm going to use several different colors today. I just feel like having colorful sunglasses. Mm. How's your picture going? How are your sunglasses? Are they so silly and 
kind of wacky and fun. I hope they are. If you would like to um, show Miss Jennifer what your picture looks like, then you can always have your parent or an adult take a picture of you with your little self-portrait or portrait that you made and have them tag the Acadia and Center for the Arts on Facebook and I will not only get to see it, but so will other children in the community. So let's share those pictures today. Again, you're going to put them on Facebook and tag the Acadia and the Center for the Arts so that we can all see your beautiful pictures that you made today. All right, and so I'm still coloring. If you actually finish coloring your glasses, you can move on to coloring another part of your picture, um, just in case, oh, that one's not really dark, just in case you're ahead of Miss Jennifer just a little bit, then you can start moving on to coloring something else. Because not all of you will want to make a bunch of little colorful, oh, Miss Jennifer colored that one twice. Oh, well, that's okay. Not all of you are going to want to make little colorful glasses like this. Some of you might want them to just be one color, and that's totally fine. I think that I'm going to... Um, let's see if I want to use blue. Let me find a color that I've not used. How about a darker green, maybe? That way I can sort of fix the one that I colored in. That was the same color. Alright, and I am just about done. I'll be moving on to the next part of coloring my picture in just a second. Alright, and remember, as I said, you can use your crayons and... You can also use your markers for this little lesson. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a peach color so that I can color my face and my neck. And as you see here, I colored my face and my neck. I even made myself some little rosy cheeks with my peach. If your skin tone, which is meaning the color of your skin, is not peach, then you might also want to do maybe like a light brown. So it's really up to you on which color you want. I would say try to color it to the color of your skin tone. All right, and so there we go. All right, so I finished coloring my glasses. Now I want to move on to um, the things that I have on my sunglasses. And here I'm going to color in my suns with a yellow. But I also kind of want to maybe add a little bit of like orange on my sun because I don't want it to just be a yellow little circle or a little spot on my glasses. And now I want to get my blue. And here I'm going to color in the blue of my water. Now on that side, notice how I colored a darker blue. And then I have a highlighter, which is lighter. Then I want to color the inside and I really like that so I kind of think I might do the same thing to this side. might do some of it in the dark blue and then some of it in the light blue just like that. Yeah I'm liking that. All right now I'm going to color in the tops of my palm trees. Now remember boys and girls you don't have to draw what Miss Jennifer drew. If you want something completely different that you thought of while you were laying on the beach, then that's fine with me. Um, add it. I, I say, why not? Let's have some fun with that. All right. And so I want my little seashell right here to be, I think I want him to be a brown seashell. So I'm going to color in my little seashell right here. And um, you know what? On the sides right here, I might add some sand and color in the trunk of my palm tree. And I want to make some sand kind of off on the sides right here. There's something else that I could add that is actually green. And that would be my seaweed. And I'm going to color that one a little darker green than my palm tree. All right. Now, I've kind of gotten to the point where I've finished coloring what's inside of my glasses. And this is a good time where I could use my crayon to actually color in my sky because it's a good lesson to kind of mix using markers and crayons into this lesson. And oh, I forgot a really important part myself. 
So I'm going to use my little peach crayon and I'm going to color myself. And there I go. Now my glasses are finished. I think that I want to put me some pretty pink lips. But I don't just want to have a light pink. The cool thing about this is that you could actually use some darker colors. And let's see if this one's darker. Oh, not that much darker. Let me find something else. Um, there we go. I think I might use a little purple. And there you go. You can add some more color to your mouth. All right. I'm going to go on now and I want to color my necklace. And remember, you can color whatever you want to color on your picture anytime that you want to color it. Because the fun thing about this little lesson is that we're going to color the whole picture. And so just have fun. Pick the part you want to color and color it. How's it going, boys and girls? Are you liking your picture? I bet it looks really nice. I would be super excited to see these. So again, don't forget, have your parents take a picture of you, put it on Facebook, and tag the Acadiana Center for the Arts so that we can all see your beautiful pictures. And so I'm going to go down to the bottom now. And I want to color the top of my shirt right here a darker purple than I did my little necklace. And you can always go back and use your black Sharpie marker if you want. And you can add some more things to your shirt or to your sunglasses or your hair. It's really up to you. But you could actually keep adding things as you color. And that's always a good thing when we are working and on anything and you think that you can maybe add something else, then I would say use a marker and go ahead and do that because sometimes as artists, we change our minds. We change things, we add things. And you know what, talking about that, I think I wanna do something right here. And I think I wanna maybe make myself a flower in my hair. Yes, a nice flower. So that is something that you could add to your picture if you want. Boys, you could add yourself maybe a little sun visor or something if you want. And I want that flower to be a bright yellow flower. So here's my bright yellow flower. And I'm liking that. I hope that you guys add something else to your picture that you would like. And I think that I want to maybe get this, oh, I want the other side of this orange marker. And I want to add some orange to my flower. And I'm just kind of scribbling some orange so it's not just, just bright yellow. I'm coloring the inside orange and there we go. All right. So now I want to decide what color I want to make my shirt. And of course, being that pink is my favorite color, I am coloring my shirt pink. Just like this. Don't forget, you can go back and you can use crayons along with your markers. I think right here on this part, I might want to put some green and I think I want my button to be green. All right. And so now I'm going to color my hair. And I kind of decided when I made this picture to kind of make my hair look like it really looks. But you know what? It's kind of summer and I'm kind of feeling it right now. But um, I think I want to make my hair different colors. So maybe here's some purple. Boys, you can even make your hair different colors too. Remember, it's summer now. And talking about summer, boys and girls, what kind of weather do we have in the summer? Is it cold in the summer? No. Is it warm? Uh, a little. But is it hot? Absolutely. So we know that in the summer, the weather is very, very hot. Another reason why we want to jump into that beach. Does anybody else know a Another name for a beach? 
If you said an ocean, then you were right. An ocean is also called a beach. A beach is sort of the sandy part and the water that's close to the sand that we can swim in. How many of you like to go swimming in the beach? Ooh, I do. That's a lot of fun. How many of you like to pick up seashells on the beach? That's one of my favorite things to do. So, yeah, you can add seashells in your glasses. Maybe that's something that you might want to add. Talking about being able to being able to add things as we go along. And so there, I made myself some pretty pink and purple hair. And I think that I might want to do something else. I think I want a little bit um, different color purple. And I just kind of want to make some um, hair here and there kind of that color. So that it's not all um, just that light purple and pink. I have some darker pink in there. Boys, I'd like to see you guys, maybe some blue hair with some green hair or something. Maybe some orange hair going on in there. That would be really fun, don't you think? Awesome. All right, and so I want to now um, color my neck. And I'm going to use my peach crayon for that. And remember, I did talk about several times in this little video that we could use crayons and we could actually use markers together. And so now I'm going to color my neck. Remember, now peach is my skin tone, but for some reason, if your skin tone is darker, oh, no, not pink, Miss Jennifer, purple. If your skin tone's maybe a darker brown or lighter brown, then you can do that too. Just look at with your crayon and see what color you think you might need. And so you're going to be coloring your neck and then next I'm going to color my head and so there we go I'm going to color my head still using my peach color and I need to color around the top where my bangs are and I'm going to use the opposite end of my crayon because I need to peel the paper on it and it's easier to just flip it over for right now all right so there you go i want to make myself some nice pink rosy cheeks so i'm going to make myself a circle on each side and if you look here that's what i did on this one and then i'm just going to color it in now remember also when you're laying on that beach you might get really 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 hot and what might happen to your skin? Yep, you guessed it, you might get a sunburn. So you might wanna put your skin a little bit pinker because you might well be on your way to having a little bit of a sunburn. And you know what? I think I wanna have a little bit of pink on my nose. Maybe I have a little bit of sunburn on my nose. And the next thing that I wanna do is I think I wanna, um, I'm gonna use a little bit of orange and I, simply because I just want some like darker areas on the edges of my face like this. And so I can sort of add some darker parts. That way it kind of looks like it's shaded. All right. And then I have one more thing to do, and that is to color the rest of my picture. And for this one, I used the blue color. And for this one, I used a yellow color for the back. And for this one, oh, let me see. I, you know what? I think I'm gonna use green. And so here we go. So I'm gonna color the back of my paper. Now, if you wanna change the, the back up and you might wanna color little bits of color here and there, like maybe some lines and you can color little sections of it, you can definitely do that. And so I'm going to color it this color. I'm liking that. I'm hoping that you're liking all the colors that you um, decided to use today, boys and girls. I bet these little beach pictures are like super awesome. I'm pretty sure that you had a lot of fun doing this because I sure did. I think I also want to make another picture as soon as I finish because I want to make one for a friend. 
because they are just so nice and silly and fun with our little wacky glasses and our colorful hair. I am just absolutely loving that part of it. And so, um, I could also do something a little different here. I used my light green and I can also, if I want, I can go back and I could add maybe a little dark green to that light green so that my background of my picture, which is the background is what's behind your picture that you drew, your portrait that you made or your self portrait. And I can add some green, darker green and that kind of makes it look like I kind of maybe shaded it a little bit. And I could even maybe use a little bit darker green because that was like a medium green and a light green. And now I'm putting a dark green just like this. Oops. On my picture. I'm loving it. So I can, let's see. Hmm, maybe I could add a little bit of um, darker. Um, this is actually a red, a violet red. This is a pretty, pick, pretty, pretty color. So maybe I could add some of that on my cheeks so that it's not just that flat pink color and that they look kind of like they pop a little bit on there. And there I go. All right, boys and girls, I am finished with um, this little picture that I made today. So, boys and girls, now that we have finished our lesson for today, I want you to make sure that you come back and see us every day at 10 a.m. on the Acadiana Center for the Arts YouTube channel for kindergarten, first, and second grade, each at time to the academic curriculum. You can also get these lessons on AOC as part of the Un Learn United program, accessible on AOC on Cox Channel 16 or LUS Channel 4. Kindergarten lessons will be at 8 a.m. and first and second grade will be at 9 a.m. The lessons will be in visual arts and some will be in creative movement. Be sure to come back and make art with us again tomorrow. If you're interested in supporting programs like this, visit the Acadiana Center for the Arts Dot org, the nonprofit that manages the PACE program. Spread the word and share our videos and keep making art.